The CDC has been recommending, of course, practicing social distancing, being six feet away from each other while running and to avoid crowded areas. Really make sure you give them the distance. Don't wait for them to give you the distance. I think be polite, be Minnesota nice, and go way around. We asked local runner Carrie Tollefson to offer some practical tips on exercising. It's still kind of chilly. I'm going to start wearing my baklava, not because I'm cold, but so I can keep my germs in. I do wear gloves on the run, especially early in the morning, and I'm washing all of my clothes, especially this, because if you're touching your face, we do not want to have those germs linger. If you run by yourself and you come up on someone, give them that space, go around them. Or if you run with someone else, and usually I think right now they're recommending one other person that you are in contact with a lot, give yourself distance. Even if it's your husband, your wife, your partner, whatever, give yourself distance. The time of day can also play a role in getting your workout in, according to Tollefson. For me, the best part and the best secret is to get out there early, but really it is very quiet at 6, 6.30 in the morning, and that's when I would recommend you guys getting out. If you're going to wait till the heat of the day when everyone is out there, you have to be very careful. One last tip, you don't have to go to Lake Calhoun or Lake Harriet or the River Road. Minnesota has some amazing places to train, so go maybe somewhere that is a little less crowded, a little less busy, and enjoy your run or your walk.